OK, so we have negative 24a is less than 48. So what we need to do is we need to solve this inequality. And solving inequalities is very similar to solving equations, except there's a couple little differences as far as our solution and how we're going to represent that solution. But um, when we look at a problem like this, one thing we need to go on, and I've you know, spoken about this in some other videos, is whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number for an inequality, we need to make sure we flip the sign. And I've shown that before. And so I'll just uh, leave it to us just to um, understand why that's true. But when we look at something, we're going to now have to use our inverse operation. So since my variable, remember when solving inequality, just like solving an equation, we need to isolate the variable. So right, right now, my variable is being multiplied by negative 24. So to undo multiplication of a negative 24, I need to divide by negative 24 on both sides. So therefore, that's going to divide to 1, leaving me with 1 times a, which is a. And then remember, as we divide by this negative number, we have to make sure we flip our side for our solution to still be correct. Therefore, this answer equals uh, negative 2. Now what we need to do is represent this solution on a line graph. So for an equation, just writing it like that was usually good enough because you had one exact. If I said a equals negative 2, that was your solution, negative 2. But now my solution says a is greater than negative 2. So that means that can represent a lot of different numbers. You could say 0 is greater than negative 2. 100 is greater than negative 2. There's a lot of possibilities now. And we need a way to represent all of them. So we're going to use a line graph. So here I have negative 2. Then I go to negative 1, 0, 1. These are numbers in the positive direction. And then we'll keep on getting smaller in the negative direction. OK, so we know that a is greater than negative 2. So we're going to start at negative 2. But when we graph a solution, we shade it in. That means it's a point that's a part of our solution. Well, negative 2 is not a part of our solution because negative 2 is not greater than negative 2. Negative 2 is equal to negative 2. So therefore, we need to pick points that are greater than negative 2. Well, negative 1 is greater than, 0 is greater than, 1 is greater than, and all points continuing in the positive direction. Now, we don't have just to leave it at integers. We could also look at decimals and fractions of the point and realize that we could actually fill in all of this empty space over here. So rather than just keep on making infinite many dots, I'm just going to draw a nice little shaded line with an arrow saying, as long as I continue in this direction, I will have a solution to this inequality. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve an inequality. Thanks.